Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. In this video, I am doing a gorgeous gold and pink resin vase and bowl. This is a really fun project. I've been having a lot of fun doing these recently and trying out some different color combinations. To start off with and explain my setup here, I'm using a glass vase and it is sitting upside down on a plastic cup in a silicone mold. I didn't do anything to prep the vase other than clean it with some isopropyl alcohol. I'm using Mixed Media Girl Artist Resin, which I did preheat a little bit by setting it in front of a space heater before I mixed it. And that helps to make it a little more fluid, although for this project, actually thicker resin is better. So I would recommend not preheating it unless it's pretty cold. The colors I'm using are Polycolor Gold Mica as well as the Gold Dust, and I mixed those together to make a really, really sparkly gold. Then I have uh, the rose gold polycolor mica and I put one drop of Alumalite red dye in there and that came out a little bit too red so you can probably see just here I actually added one drop of the Alumalite white resin dye as well. I'm using Aluma Dust Light Pink, which is another mica, it's a gorgeous color. And then I'm using the Alumalite uh, white resin dye. So those are the colors that I'm using. Feel free to use any and all colors that you want. One recommendation and uh, what I have found to be most successful is to use both opaque and transparent colors. If you use only transparent colors, you'll end up with a pretty clear vase. Resin itself is inherently transparent and you've got um, gravity working against you here. So go for a variety of opaque and transparent. So the um, white that I'm using is definitely opaque. The gold is transparent. The light pink is transparent. And then the other pink that I mixed up is more opaque. I start off with some thicker and larger amounts of each color just to kind of get it started, get it all covered. And then I'll go in a little more delicately with my stick or just adding littler amounts of each color until I'm happy with my design. And it can help to rotate it as you go if needed, just so you can kind of see how it looks on the other side. You can also set up a camera on the other side, whichever works for you. But at this point, I've got my, I've got enough resin for my project pretty much. So I'm just working on my design. Now, a common question I get is how much resin do you need? That's going to 100% depend on the tray mold that you are using and there's no one answer. You don't really need extra for the vase. So if the mold takes 14 ounces of resin, you need 14 ounces of resin. This particular one, which is a 13 inch round mold, takes about 14 ounces of resin. So that's how much I mixed up. I also though didn't fill in the mold 100%. And that's because I want this to be a little bit thinner. Um, for a tray, you would want it to be thicker, but because I'm going to be molding it into a bowl, I want it to be a little bit thinner so it's not completely filled. Once I was happy with my design, I let it sit and drip for quite a while until it had basically stopped dripping. I also did lightly torch it. Do not over torch or heat gun it or you will have all of your resin running off of your vase and it will become very blended. So just very lightly torch. After I had torch, I actually decided I wanted to add just a little more white on the other side. There was kind of a big gold section. And then I let it drip and then I removed it carefully holding the plastic cup. And then I just let the middle of that tray mold fill in. I lightly heat gunned that as well so that it would um, get the air bubbles out and to help it fill in. But that's it, I didn't do any tilting and just very lightly heat gun. Do not use a torch with any silicone molds. Now that's all there is to do at this point. From here, I let it sit for about six hours until it's very flexible, um, but not really sticky. Now, how long you let yours sit will depend on two things. One, the kind of resin that you're using. Some resins cure within a matter of hours. Some resins take about 24 hours to cure. This is a 24 hour resin. So I know that I have, I know how much time I have with it because of that, but it's also going to depend on the temperature in your workspace. 
Now it's been a bit hotter in Los Angeles. Um, so if it's a hundred degrees in your workspace, you're going to have a lot less time than if it's, you know, 50 degrees. Okay. So for me, it was about six hours. I molded it into my plastic bowl. I put a silicone mat in there and then I weighed it down with a bottle of resin. I let that sit overnight and then I peeled it out of the plastic bowl. It should come out pretty easily. Um, and you can use a glass bowl for this. I'm not sure if wood would work, but I would not recommend it. I would use something like either glass or plastic and something ideally with a smooth surface, not ridges or anything like that. Um, so here's how the bowl looks. It's gorgeous. And you can decide whichever side you want to use for the middle or the bottom. I usually use the side I like best for the, the top of the bowl. Um, one other pro tip though, <laughs> leave this in that bowl mold for a couple of days. I demolded it here the next morning to show you guys, but it'll still be a little bit soft. Leave it in there for a couple days to make sure that it's fully set. Here's the vase. I leave the drips on the top. I like it as part of the design, but feel free to sand them off if you want. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this project. I'll see you all next time.